Yeah, g'day guys, welcome back. Just down the creek again today, gonna have another crack with the uh, Atomic Semi Hard Vibe, the 50 mil. So last time I was here at this spot, I had to cut it a little bit short. I was here for about two hours. I might get three today, because I don't, get, uh, don't have to go to work. But I'm down here again today to finish what I started. I've got a little bit of unfinished business down here. You may recall from a previous video, a few videos ago, I, I did catch a, a cod here, a tarpon, blue salmon. I lost a good barra because I was trying to showcase what diversity of fish you can catch on this little guy here, a 50 mil lure. You can catch small fish through to larger fish like barramundi. I did lose that fish, which annoyed the crap out of me. So I am back down here today. Gonna give it another go. Um, just to showcase that diversity. Challenge has been put out there to catch six species today on this lure. So hopefully knock that on the head. Um, just killing a little bit of time because I do have to get out there and I am going to walk across this. Do not condone this one bit. It's sort of belly button deep early in the morning. This is a crocodile area well known for them. So um, yeah, mum, dad, if you're watching, please turn it off now. Uh, and if someone, if, if you don't hear from me, hopefully someone finds my phone. Okay, don't condone this one bit. Stay tuned. Hopefully see you on the other side. Well, I made it. Made it across there. I'm pretty puffed, but it looks like just in time for the sun to be coming up. This is prime time to be out here. Hopefully get a good fish. Prime time for the crocs twos, quietly. Won't go out too far. The water's clean today. A bit cleaner than last time. I won't venture out too far. It does get shallower over here, so I walk that way. But essentially, I'm trying to reach those rocks on the other side. Just using that little vibe, as I mentioned. So, give it a little bit of a go. Really big tide today. It was about a six metre high last night, down to a 0.4 low. So you got over five and a half metres of, uh, of movement. So. Despite the fact I'm in sort of knee deep water at the moment, it is draining out by the minute, getting shallower and shallower, which is a good thing. It's gonna enable me to walk out a little bit further each time and get closer to those rocks. As I said last time, using this lure is a very weighty little lure, despite it being only 50 mil uh, long, it is really quite heavy. So you can really punch it out a long way. So I'm getting about 40 meters on the cast, which is pretty good. Peg it out. And like I said last time, less is more with these vibes. So just let it sink to the bottom and then just a hop, hop, pause, hop, hop, pause, take up the slack and do, keep repeating that all the way back to your feet. prime time of the day so worth getting up early sometimes come out and experience nature like this it's just beautiful a fish is just a bonus in these circumstances to be honest just love being out here got something not overly big but it is the first fish of the day one of those species so it's not pulling any drag it's not huge and what we got Little flathead, is it? Oh no, it's a brim. Ah, oh, it's a grunner. <laughs> cool. Well, we didn't get any of them last time. Little grunner, only a little guy. But one species, nonetheless. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, mate. I know it probably hurts, eh? There we go, first fish of the day. Just a little grunner on the 50 mil vibe. So not a big fish whatsoever, but still aggressive to take lures. Some people might not think you get grunner on lures, but you do. And obviously don't have to be very big either to have a go. So obviously they're more vicious than people think. For something that predominantly feeds in the sand. All good, I'm gonna get this guy back in. All right, one off the list. Little grunner. Only been here about 10 minutes. So that's good. 
hopefully more of that to come a bit bigger really really want that bazza today got something here not huge but it basically ate it as soon as it um hit the water it landed on its head it's not big like i said but it'd be good to get a different another species so i can get me challenge of the six today what have we got A broom. Good broom actually. So they just pinned. They just pinned. Stay on mate. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Another one. Species number two. Been here about 20 minutes. Little brimbo. And I just pinned him in the lip. Once again, not a huge fish, maybe just on legal, but you know, so aggressive these smaller fish obviously to take lures. So don't be afraid to chuck a lure on for brim, for grunner, as you've seen. They do smash them, especially the little 50 mil jelly bean. Atomic semi hard vibe getting it done. Letting him go. Got something else? Now what it is, it's a flatty. Not a bad one. It'd be legal for sure, but I will let this guy go because I plan on still being here a little while yet. Oh, he's engulfed it too. I hope it doesn't chafe through. Thought it might have been a flatty because he ate it right back at, the, you know, away from them rocks, well up on the sand. As I was bringing it back about halfway through me retrieve. But, keep me just on legal anyway, this guy. And he's just engulfed it. There's a lure in that mouth somewhere. But, another species, number three. Been here about half an hour. Third fish. Third species. Let this guy go anyway. He's got the lure out. He pretty much engulfed that lure then. Oh, put him back in. And he's gone. Off to terrorise some more bait. On again here. I don't think it's a new species. I reckon it's a flatty. Definitely a different fish. Definitely a fish. But uh, <laughs> not a new species. But can't complain. Right where he should have been too. Basically you got the end of this shallow riffle zone here. And drops out into a deep drop off and gutter. And you see the water ed eddying and spiraling around there. I just knew there'd be a flathead there. And there was. And there it goes. Sweet. Saved me from uh, getting the pliers onto him. Saved me a bit of work. But I reckon there'll be a few flathead here. You can see that water churning around just here. Obviously there's a bit of flow. And where it drops out of suspension, that's where the fish are going to be waiting to pounce on that food as it falls out. So I just knew there'd be a flathead there and there'll be probably a few around here, I'd say. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, had one. Had one. There is a few here. There is a few here. Let's go again. Whoa, stingray. Whew. Scared the crap out of me. Stingray right there in the water. I'm about to walk on him, look. Oh, it's just here. 
don't know if you can see him. Camouflage, just saw that tail sticking out. You see him now, the sun out? Yeah, yeah, keep walking. I'm gonna stand on you. Yep, yep. Got one. Probably another flatty. Feels like it. Feels very much like another flathead. That's what I'm sort of picking to be around this area. Yeah, it is another flathead. Phew! Go on then. Not huge. Feisty butt. To come here and quite comfortably have a feed of flathead anytime you want. Pretty easy going. Pretty easy fishing. Right at the end of a run zone where the water's going out, dropping over the edge. They're sitting on that edge, picking up everything, get, getting funneled to them. So, knew there'd be a few flathead around here and it's like three now. So, pretty good fun. Yeah, g'day guys, welcome back. Uh, just closing out today's session. Had a great little morning. Uh, didn't get the six species I was chasing. Got five fish all up. Uh, three different species. I got a brim, grunner, uh, and three flathead. So that was a lot of fun anyway, but the flathead were right where they should have been too. They were at the end of a big drop off. So it was a bit of a shallow area, big flow, and then it just dropped off into deeper water. They'll be sitting on that drop off, getting the fish and the, and the bait, getting funneled to them. So I had a ball, uh, use that atomic 50 mil semi-hard vibe. So you got three different species today. I think I got four different species last time. So today, Flathead, Brim, Grunter. Uh, last time, lost a barra, got a tarpon, got a blue salmon, got a cod. So I'm pretty sure that's successful in showing you and uh, showcasing you diversity of fish you can catch on that little lure, that little 50 mil atomic semi-hard vibe. They've got little size to them, but they're very weighty, so you can punch them right out. They vibrate really well, and they look like the real deal. I'm puffed because I don't know if you can see how fast that water's moving just there but the tide is pouring in now it's coming in like a tidal wave I was over there I don't know if you can see the sand if I left it any five five or ten minutes later I would have been really struggling to get across here as it was I was sort of mid chest deep coming across and that uh, flow was really pushing me I probably started walking over there and by the time I finished, I was over here because that flow probably took me about 60, 80 meters downstream. Tide pours in here. Um, like I said earlier, don't advise doing that at home. Anyway, thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers.